Hey guys, I had to speed this up as fast as I could because it was over an hour long. Um, so anyway, we're going to be doing decoupage on a flower pot and a little glass jar. That's the little glass jar. And the first thing I'm going to do is paint it white with acrylic paint. And I'm going to paint the lid. And then I'm going to work on this blue, blue flower pot. I'm grabbing decorative napkins. I'm using water and a paintbrush to go around the designs I want to use on the napkin and tear it out so that we have delicate edges and not sharp edges. I'm going to do that four times on this napkin. You can also use gift wrap. Um, if you cut out the images you want to use and dip them in um, room temperature water first and then continue as you would just with the napkins. Now here I'm peeling apart the two layers of the napkin. We only need the top layer that's printed. So I'm pulling the second layer off. There you go. Now I'm grabbing Mod Podge and I'm going to thin out the Mod Podge with a little bit of water. And I'm going to use a sponge brush to apply a good layer of Mod Podge onto the pot and then I'm going to spread the napkin onto that glue from the center out to the edges. I'm going to make sure all the edges are glued down. And then I'm going to also sponge Mod Podge all over the top of the design. You're going to get out as many air bubbles as you can. Try to have as little wrinkle as, as possible. Um, I don't mind the wrinkles because I think it looks like shabbier and cuter, but you know, it's totally up to you if you want to really take the time to be very careful and push out all of the wrinkles. You know, that's totally on you. So I'm going to do that all the way around this pot. And be generous with the glue with the Mod Podge so that you have plenty for the napkin to stick to and for it to um, sort of uh, soak into the napkin itself. Okay, now I'm going to cover all of the missing edges there. I'm tearing off pieces of design from the napkin and doing the exact same thing using the Mod Podge to glue it down, put Mod, po Mod Podge over the top. I'm just going to fill in all the empty spaces. I'm making more of my glue and water mixture. And don't worry about the pieces that are up over the edge, the lip of the pot, because you can remove that once it's dry with knife, scissors, a razor blade, a nail file, anything at all. Now I'm preparing another napkin full of designs, making sure I don't have any sharp edges. And I'm also avoiding the folds of the napkin um, because they make it difficult to lay flat. So, there's that. I'm going to peel the second ply off of those napkins. There we go. I'm going to continue filling in any spaces that need design in them. I'm 
until I have my pot covered. You do not have to do the inside of the pot. Hopefully you'll be putting plants and flowers inside the pot. <laughs> I'm hoping to get some plants for the shop to put in these pots. I think I'm just about got all the pieces covered here. Now I'm using a stamp and a stamp pad to add this kind of letter design just randomly around the pot. So it looks like sort of like a love letter. And now I've got these little flowers. I'm thinking about gluing them to the pot. I'm gluing in my glue gun to let it heat up because I thought they were stickers and they're not. So now I'm taking my little white jar and I'm going to decoupage that with the exact same napkins in the exact same way as I did the pot. And you'll see the color of the white color of the jar will show through your design here and make it look a little bit different and kind of cute. There we go. Coating the whole thing with Mod Podge letting it dry. I'm using one of these cute little flowers on the lid of the jar. Now I'm going to glue my little flowers onto the flower pot like so and there's our project. Here's our finished product. How cute are these? By the way I wanted to say um, if you're going to be using any of these outside be sure that you put a layer of um, varnish on them first okay at least one layer maybe even two okay so just so you know that'll make them a little more weatherproof but there's our little jar how cute is that awesome see you guys later